Coming up with lyrics is hard, and actually singing those lyrics can be even harder. Sometimes playing instruments is harder than it looks, especially when the person you're watching isn't playing the instrument at all. Lip syncing and plagiarism are just few of the ways that performers try to deceive audiences, causing some singers to lose careers altogether. Here is our top 10 celebrity singers that have been faking it for years. At number 10 we have Britney Spears. It seems that for Britney Spears' entire career, she's been questioned as to whether or not she sings during her live performances. Singing with a voice that she's admitted to put a strain on her vocal cords, it seems reasonable to speculate. Britney's been caught in several instances singing over a track or not singing at all. During her Las Vegas residency, she sang Perfume, written by Sia. But when it came time for her to start singing, instead of hearing Britney, the crowd heard Sia. Somehow the version of Sia's recording was played during the show, but honestly, why was it they heard in the first place? This isn't the only reason why people think Britney lip syncs. Many people wonder how she's able to do such challenging choreography while singing, but more so, how was she physically capable of singing for 90 minutes a night, every night, during her residency? It's facts such as these that justify a lip sync performance. She may be Britney Spears, but she's still just a human being. At number 9, we've got Millie Vanilli. Maybe the most famous case of a lip syncing scandal comes from the R&B duo Millie Vanilli. On July 21st, 1989, during a live performance on MTV, there was an issue with a hard drive. This caused the duo's hit Girl You Know It's True to skip, jump, and repeat, exposing that Millie Vanilli had been lip syncing the song. This situation put unwanted attention on the duo, which eventually led the producer to admit that Millie Vanilli never sang on the records as they claimed to, but instead, it was two uncredited musicians. This was cause for the Academy to revoke Millie Vanilli's Grammy Award for Best New Artist. The duo became the poster children for what not to do in the music industry and how frowned upon it is to lip sync. In an interview from 1999, Millie Vanilli admitted a producer approached the duo and asked them not to sing, but to lip sync. Both of the men saw this as a golden opportunity and thus took on the job. Looking back at their public embarrassment, it seems strange just how much backlash they received. Millie Vanilli was simply an act and everyone involved was paid and consented to the project. This just shows how people really hate to be fooled. But it's surprising that the situation caused the stir that it did, considering the fact that neither member of Millie Vanilli spoke fluent English and had thick French accents. How was anyone fooled at all? But it was the 80s, so I guess it makes sense. Coming in at number 8 is Mariah Carey. Now Mariah Carey is notorious for lip syncing during performances, most notably on New Year's Eve 2016. During Dick Charles rockin' New Year's Eve with Ryan Seacrest, everything went very wrong. As soon as Mariah's performance began, the track went amiss, and as much as Mariah tried to match up her lips with the recorded song, she just couldn't make it happen. This ruined her entire performance, and Mariah was reportedly very upset and embarrassed. She publicly admitted to lip syncing during this specific performance only because she blamed the producer who asked her to do it. Mariah Carey has been accused of lip syncing several times since this mishap, including the 2022 Macy's Day Parade, where she forgot the lyrics to her only song. Sorry. I mean own song, and gave an unenthusiastic performance of All I Want For Christmas Is You. But hey, I don't think any amount of lip syncing will bring down the ratings from that song. It's a classic. And coming in at number 7 is Lil Nas X. Rapper and industry baby Lil Nas X was reportedly accused of lifting parts of the Bobby Caldwell song Carry On in his own song of the same name. This caused him to face legal repercussions as a lawsuit was made against him which alleged that he was motivated by greed and malicious intent. Both Lil Nas X and his record Sony were being sued for $25 million each. According to Billboard, the suit specifically asked for $10 million in damages to remedy a confusion in the marketplace as it alleges that Nas's song completely completely destroyed the value of Caldwell's work. As well, the suit asked for at least $15 million in punitive damages. Right now, the original video for Lil Nas X's Carry On has since been deleted. And if I were to give him some advice, it'd be that if you're going to steal someone else's work, it'd probably be a good idea to at least not name it the same thing. Lil Nas X was hit with copyright claims again over the song Rodeo featuring Cardi B. Two Atlanta producers accused the song of being derivative of their own recording, saying it featured the similar structure and chord progression of a song called Broad day. According to the lawsuit, the producers say the song was performed, published, and distributed widely in and around the Atlanta hip-hop scene. We hate to see a rapper make a habit out of stealing creators' work, especially lesser known ones. In our number 6 spot is Blackpink. K-pop group Blackpink have been at the forefront of the genre's popularity since their debut in 2016. The group was recently accused of lip-syncing during their performance at the 2022 VMAs. The lip-syncing was so bad, in fact, that Variety magazine added the group's performance to their list entitled Worst Moments of the Night. The magazine also called Blackpink a repeat 
offender for alleged lip syncing. However, this did not bode well with fans. Many of them came to the group's defense on Twitter, insisting that their mics were on and that the publication was spreading misinformation for clout. However, the group has in fact lip synced during the performances both on stage and in music videos, calling it unnecessary evil in order to keep up with the other high energy aspects of the show. In my opinion, K pop performances get a pass on lip syncing. Watching their intense and intricate choreography is enough of an excuse to lack a bit in the vocal department. This added with their incredible charisma, the shows they put on are just as impressive even after learning that they may lip sync from time to time. Our number 5 spot goes to Justin Bieber. There's no doubt that Justin lip syncs from time to time. With all the intense choreography he did on stage, it seems almost impossible to also sing. The alleged lip syncing became very apparent during his 2012 Believe tour as he actually started throwing up on stage while the track continued playing. Uh, a few years later at Coachella in 2019, Justin faced backlash for lip syncing during his guest appearance. Entertainment News said the poor song started before him. I did not realize it was going to be that bad. Justin quickly took to Twitter to defend himself, explaining, They played the song and I just sang over top of it. If there's one thing Justin can do, it's come up with very believable excuses. This was only just the beginning of Bieber's lip syncing because it continued during his purpose tour in 2017 during a show in India. Concert goers were quite upset when they realized Justin was not singing live and grew even more angry as they complained about how Bieber was not even wholeheartedly attempting to lip sync. People began to accuse Justin of cheating his fans, being highly disrespectful, and prompted concert goers to complain that they had wasted their money. Lip syncing is a surefire way to become hated, but what made it worse is that the ticket price rounds out to about $1,200 Canadian. And this concert was on his very first visit to India, which means it was not a great first impression. At number 4 is Dua Lipa. In May of 2022, Dua Lipa suffered a bit of an accident on stage. During a song, the singer took a tumble, dropping the microphone. However, fans at the concert could still hear her voice, although she was obviously not singing, exposing her as a lip syncing act. The situation caused fans to be upset as they claimed that the cost of the tickets was, was too high for Lipa not to sing live. It was not the first time that Dua Lipa's playback was discovered. In March of 2021, during a concert in New York, the singer bumped into one of her dancers and lost her microphone, causing it to fall off the stage. But her hit Be The One continued to play. It took several seconds before a member of her staff came with a spare microphone while the 26 year old smiled apologetically to the audience. Critics on social media point out that due to her complicated choreography of her performances, lip syncing isn't out of the ordinary. Similar to Blackpink, Dua Lipa's concerts are more than just a show of her vocal ability. Our number 3 spot goes to Robin Thicke. In 2013, Robin Thicke was faced with a legal dispute for his critically received song Blurred Lines. The Marvin Gaye's estate claimed that the song was a complete ripoff of Gaye's Got to Give It Up, copying the feel and sound of the track. Thicke appealed the claims, accusing the estate of making an invalid copyright claim since only expressions and not individual ideas can be protected. This caused the copyright battle to be a long and drawn out one, but a unanimous jury awarded Gaye's family $7.4 million in damages. However, the judge lowered the fee to $5.3 million, and the Gaye's estate was also awarded the right to obtain 50% of Blurred Lines royalties forever. What's so humiliating about this case is that Blurred Lines is basically Thicke's entire career, and thus his whole career has been tainted. After the verdict, several musicians spoke out saying that this case threatens to punish songwriters for creating new music that's inspired by prior works, which was the case after a similar lawsuit was filed by the Gaze estate over Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud, but was dropped due to the suit trying to sue him for basic chord progressions and not an original idea. Our runner up is Sid Vicious, bass player of a popular punk band. Now, Sid didn't plagiarize or lip sync like the other performers on this list, but still participated in deceiving his audience, and I think he's a worthy candidate for this list. Sid was accused and later known to go on stage with his instrument turned way down or unplugged completely. Fans of the shows would often find him playing the wrong song in the wrong key, leading them to believe that his amp was just turned off. This move was made because Sid was absolutely atrocious at playing the instrument. Members of the band revealed that his bass playing was so bad it couldn't be used on any of their recorded albums. Sid has been generally regarded as the worst bassist of his generation, which makes sense when you find out the band only recruited him due to his looks. A fan saying that, quote, the best part of Sid's bass playing is his hair. Members of the band attempted to teach him to play but found the pursuit to be hopeless, and it's now well known that all Sid's bass training consisted of was, was him playing along to Ramon CDs while on hard drugs. He was said to get away with this because his onstage presence was so compelling that the lack of ability was just fine with fans. And our number one spot goes to the only positive situation on this list. T-Pain never lip synced or plagiarized, he never even claimed he knew an instrument that he didn't. However, he did lie about one thing, how absolutely beautiful his voice is. T-Pain, known for his songs featuring a heavy handed autotune, surprised an audience when he revealed how talented he truly was. In 2014, T partook in NPR's Tiny Desk series, and here he performed a collection of his biggest hits, such as Buy You a Drink and Up Down without autotune. The YouTube video of his performance now has over 25 million views, and many were surprised to learn of the rapper's angelic voice. One commenter said, Always
always assume he didn't have a good voice to use autotune as an instrument instead. He has a perfect voice. In an interview with NPR, T Pain revealed, People thought I was using autotune to sound good, but I was just using it to sound different. And I'm just so glad he's sharing more of his talent with us. That is our top 10 singers who've been faking it for years. Some more serious and shocking than others, but nevertheless, it is sometimes better to be honest with your fans about what you're offering to them. Let me know if I missed any in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,